What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and this is Trigon. It's a $2,500 mini ITX gaming PC featuring the stunning deep cooler Tristellar case. I decided to change things up a bit and go with a more unique case. Now, as I mentioned before, it is a mini ITX tower because the PC is split into three compartments. The top section houses the SSDs and the graphics card and the other two hold the power supply and motherboard. I do like the fact that the top portion comes with tempered glass panels on all three sides, but it's also disappointing at the same time for the other two since the custom sleeving and the ram sticks go to waste as they are both covered. Nonetheless, installation wasn't difficult, believe it or not, and the only issue I had was with cable management. But after removing the hard drive cages, I was given plenty of space for the cables. To be fair, I accidentally ordered much longer cables than needed, and that's because I haven't actually worked with this case before, and I wanted to be on the safe side. Aesthetically, this is one badass looking case, and I don't think anyone can deny that. They do have a white version of this, and maybe I'll consider doing a white and blue build if you guys are interested, so make sure to hit that like button if you are. So the Tristellar SW has two USB 3.0 ports and the usual audio jacks in the front, and the actual power button is in the center, which also lights up after pressing it. I thought that was pretty cool. So I went with the 6700K and paired it with the MSI GTX 1080 Gaming X graphics card to keep the theme consistent. It also has 16 gigs of RAM from Avixer and three 480GB SSDs from HyperX in RAID 0. Unfortunately, I don't have a hard drive attached since I had to remove the cage for cable management, nor do I have an M.2 because the ASUS Maximus does not support it. I also got tired of using Corsair coolers in almost all of my builds, so I was looking around for something that would stick out a bit more and came across the Captain 120EX CPU cooler. Not only is it extremely quiet and keeps the 6700K around 45 degrees during full load, but it also blends in nicely with the Avixa RAM and the rest of the build. Speaking of RAM, these are the Raiden series and they are from Avixer and they have a variety of colors to choose from. But as you can see, I went with the plasma red option and these are officially the sexiest RAM sticks I have seen. Sorry G Skill, but you have been dethroned. It's just a shame that I have to cover this up, but I will be using these parts for a future build, so it's all good. The custom sleeving you see in this video are from Ensourced Mods and honestly, I just can't go to any other brand. These guys do such an amazing job and the quality of these cables are out of this world. Not only do they offer full cables, by the way, not extensions guys, full cables, but they give you the option to select the exact color you want from the color chart as well as the pattern. The combinations are endless, so if you guys need custom sleeves for your next build, definitely check out Ensourced Mods, you won't regret it. Another small mod I did with this build was adding LED strips, but not just regular LEDs. These are called the RGB350 and it comes in three separate strips, which was perfect since I had the flexibility of choosing where to put each one. On top of that, you get this remote which lets you control the colors and you can even program it for a pretty cool light show. Performance wise, it's nothing that you guys haven't already seen on 1080 benchmarks, but here are the numbers anyways in case you are interested. So that is it for this video, as always if you guys enjoy these monthly PC builds be sure to leave a like to show your support, I do have a $500 budget build coming up also late October and this also has a build guide so I know a lot of you guys are excited about that. If you guys are interested in seeing a white and blue build with the other Tristellar case also let me know in the comment section but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.